something to pack for people on pajamas. Whether it would be a long sleeve shirt and long pants or leggings and a shirt, a short sleeve shirt and shorts, a pillow and blanket just be just in case uh, the friend or cousin or whoever you are or like house to go she doesn't have one and and some toiletries like toothbrush, toothpaste, gloss, mouthwash, some beauty products, deodorant, pads, stuff like that. And you can pack in some things to pack a lot for clothes like long sleeve shirt if it's cold in the house. Um short sleeve shirt if it's hot in the house, shorts if it's hot in the house, long sleeve long pants if it's cold in the house. A sweater or sweatshirt if it's cold in the house. Summer shoes if it's hot in the house. Boots or clothes or shoes if it's cold in the house. And you bring like a sleeping bag if you're not comfortable bringing a blanket. And you can bring your electronics, but don't don't stay on your electronics all night. And if you like if you wake up in the middle of the night and you can't sleep and you want to go on your electronics. Bring like headphones or earbuds or AirPods because those are really, really helpful. And make sure you bring a charger just in case your run doesn't have a charger or the right kind of charger. And you could bring some board games just for something to do. And you could bring, and make sure you pack your beauty products because your friend may not have the same beauty products you use and oh toothbrush and toothpaste toothpaste and toothbrush is a must bring because your friend may not have one and it's also really disgusting if you don't bring your own oh and you can bring like hair ties and bobby pins and hair clips and barrettes in case you want to do your hair and you can bring some makeup products Some other things. And make sure you pack all the stuff in a really big bag, whether it's a tote bag, a duffel bag, a backpack, or a suitcase. And if you don't think you'll need a certain thing, just bring it anyway just in case oh and if you want you can bring socks too and a change of undergarments just because oh and you can bring extra clothes just in case for any accidents going at your friend's house and you can bring your swimsuit if they have a pool or yeah What I would normally bring is my toiletries, my hairbrush, clothes, pajamas, blanket, pillow, and my phone. Oh, and you can bring nail polish if you're if you you want to do your nails and a razor just in case if you haven't shaved your legs in a long time. And a water bottle in case you get thirsty or it's a hot day. And hand sanitizer in case you touch something really gross or you just feel like you need to bring it. Your makeup products, whether it's lip gloss, lipstick, 
blush, concealer, if you like it. Uh, eyelash primer, mascara, powder. Whether it be uh, anything. And make sure you have like a little Ziploc bag for your toothpaste and toothbrush just in case if your toothpaste leaks and your mouthwash leaks. And you can also bring some toothpicks, like those cute little toothpicks, in case you're having dinner at the house and you get food stuck in your teeth. So you can also bring makeup wipes in case you want makeup over to the house. And you can bring puzzles and board games, just in case they don't have any. And make sure you don't stay on your electronics or the TV all night. And you can bring flashlights to play flashlight pay or any glow-in-the-dark objects. And make sure you bring a change of clothes just in case you're in an accident. And make sure you bring extra toiletries just in case. And pack all your stuff in a big bag just in case. Just in case. You guys will be packing your stuff in a small bag. It's most likely that. Some of your stuff will fall out. Oh, and double check that you make sure that, and double check to make sure that you that you packed everything that you need or want before you leave the house. Because once you leave the house, there's no going back. If, oh, and if you want, you can pack your favorite stuffed animal or any of your stuffed animals, just in case you want to. Or and if they don't have nail polish, you can pack your own nail polish, nail file, nail clipper, etc. That could go with your toiletries. Yeah. And what else? What else? You can pack your wallet in case you're going to the mall or shopping or anything. Or you're forgetting ice cream at like Dairy Queen or something. But very rare that you'll do that. Oh, and you could pack some re of your favorite recipes in case, like, you're helping making a snack or something. And what else? Oh, and pack sunscreen and bug spray if it's a hot day or buggy out. Always be prepared. If you want, you can pack jewelry if you want, like hair ties, Fitbit, bracelets, necklaces, earrings, ring, rings, charms, chokers, anything like that. But you don't have to pack jewelry if you don't want to. I, I don't. Oh, and make sure you pack your deodorant because it's really disgusting if you don't wear deodorant. Especially if it's a hot day and you start to sweat because that's really disgusting. Put things in your current tooth bag with me. Toothbrush, toothpaste, pads, tampons, hand sanitizer, hand cream. Lotion, perfume, deodorant, flosses, floss, mouthwash, um, cotton swatch in case you want to clean up ears or something you might not be able to need to. Lip balm in case your lips are really chapped. Nail supplies, any stuff like that. And what else? And 
we can have a really, really, really big thing for stuff like that. Oh, and pack towel just in case the I'm sorry for your juicy friend has a pool or a spring cleaner or is a hot day and you want to sun tan. <laughs> and make sure the clothes that you pack are clean. And by clean, I mean clothes you haven't worn for three days. <laughs> Like I said, pack extra clothes, because you never know what might happen, or the weather, where your friend lives, and your, yeah. If you want, you can pack accessories like jewelry, hair ties, hair clips, barrettes, bobby pins, headbands, hats, scarves, anything. But just don't overpack. And the weather of you in a backpack, tote bag, duffel bag, suitcase, zipper bag. <laughs> Duffel bag and your bag. And for people in lip care, I always bring lip gloss and lip balm because those are easier to apply than lipstick and lip liner. But if you want to bring all four of them, I'm okay with that. Oh, and make sure you get you uh, and make sure you get permission to bring like your swimsuit or or anything else that you don't typically bring but want to bring. Yeah, you should always ask. You should always ask your parents or your friend's parents for permission. For anything you want to bring that you don't typically bring to a sleepover. And if you want, you can bring a sleeping bag if you want. Like I said, you can bring a sleeping bag if you want comfortable. Bring a bag. I like bringing a blanket. So I make and make sure that the bag is really big. In case you want to put your blanket or sleeping bag in there. <laughs> oh, and you can bring face masks too. It's part of your toiletries. Let your friend have birth pick with her face mask just because she's hosting the sleepover. Or your cousin. Oh, and if you have a list of fun things to do for sleep, oh, a sleepover, just bring that. I have a list of things that I do at sleepovers. So, that's pretty much everything you want to bring. Bye!